Hey, what's up, Colts Nation? Cody Felger here. Just wanted to bring you some potential trade rumors that could involve the Indianapolis Colts. So the Ravens have just received interest on offensive tackle Orlando Brown. Now, Brown play, has played right tackle for the Ravens. He's made it pretty clear that he wants to play left tackle. And uh, according to CBS Sports' Jason Locke and Fora, there is a lot of interest around Orlando Brown. I mean, and there should be. Brown is one of the better offensive tackles in the league. He's only 24, really 25 in the month of May. And, you know, it, for me, I, I would love for the Colts to make this move. It would probably have to involve at least a first-round pick in order to get him. But, I mean, you kind of think about it. I kind of think about it like this, right? You think about the DeForest Buckner trade last year. What, what, did the ha what happened, right? The Colts basically traded their first-round pick. DeForest Buckner was their first-round pick. They felt like, based off of where they were drafting, they could get a player of DeForest Buckner's caliber, a proven commodity in this league, and he could be a better player overall. And obviously it worked in year one. So I'm potentially thinking, what if the Colts have a similar train of thought here with Orlando Brown, right? Left tackle, obviously, one of the biggest needs on offense. It would make a lot of sense for the Colts to potentially go after Brown, especially because he's basically only a few few years removed from some of these guys who are coming out, right? He's going to turn 25 here, so just entering his prime now. But I guess the biggest question for me would be, okay, first off, what's the market going to look like, right? It seems like there's going to be a lot of teams interested. Is Ballard willing to get into a bidding war? I don't think he would be. I think he'll set a value, and then if that value exceeds, he's not going to do it. I mean, I think it could be potentially definitely 21 for sure. May include an, probably another pick or two in order to acquire Brown services. But, I mean, this makes a lot of sense from the Colts' standpoint because then you don't have to wonder, right, say you go get a veteran quarterback or whatever you do, then your offensive line, man, is set in stone for a long time. I mean, you have a proven players everywhere. You don't have to hope and cross your fingers that this offensive tackle that you would draft then – is going to develop into a quality starter at Brown's level, right? And the good thing is Brown's not even at his full potential yet, right? He's only 24, so he still has room to grow, room to improve. I feel like his ceiling is very high, so I don't know. For me, I would like this move. I know Derek's a big, big fan of this move. He would definitely be on board 110% for this move, especially uh, if you can get him for a modest price, you know, that's not like multiple first-round picks or something crazy like that, but... I don't know. I would like this move. It just all depends on what the Ravens are going to be asking for. It could be out of the Colts market. But, I mean, when your franchise tackles on the market like this, I mean, I think it'd be wise for the Colts to at least kick the tires on him, kind of see where the value is for him. But uh, if they can get him at a modest price, I would definitely love that. But what would you guys think? Do you agree with my train of thought? Maybe the Colts kind of do what they did with DeForest Buckner last year, and they go and get a proven commodity in this league in Orlando Brown? You know, plug and play right into left tackle, then your offensive line is set for the next five to ten years. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. But just wanted to bring you a quick update. Orlando Brown potentially going to be traded from the Baltimore Ravens to maybe the Indianapolis Colts, maybe another team. We'll see what happens. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Thanks so much. And as always, go Colts.